This is Alex Davis reporting for the Cambridge Tab. We're here live on location at Corpus Christi College looking on at a protest against Nigel Farage coming to Cambridge. We're going to walk over now and find out exactly what it is that these protesters are concerned about. Uh, why are you here protesting? Uh, because I'm not really a fan of Nigel Farage. He's spreading, spreading a message of hate. His anti-immigrant anti rhetoric is just a racist message. And um, he's not welcome in my city. Yeah, as simple as that. Would you throw an egg at him? No. Yeah, probably. So why is it that you're mainly protesting today? We are showing opposition to his ideologies, to... to we are, we are basically claiming our right to protest, to protect our rights. Um, by going out of Europe, we will lose the Human Rights Act being prevalent, and we don't want that. We do not want to go back to the Dark Ages. We want to ensure a safe future for our kids. I'm standing here to, with my friends to sort of like back up like what we feel, basically. Yeah, and um, what is it exactly that you feel? What's your concern with Nigel Farage specifically? What's he said? Well, um, oh, some of what he said, uh, I, haven't ha I have quite limited internet access and um, yeah. I don't... I don't like racism, you know, man. I don't like homophobia. I don't like... He just he pisses me off in general, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, if you had to drink, have a drink with a politician, who would you drink with? If you could say dead or alive, then I'd say Mo Moland. Really? Yeah. How comes? Because she was the only person, and I come from an Irish family, and she was the only person who really did actually get the chance to settle things down a bit. Okay. And she had such strong views, and she, in my, in my opinion, was the last statesman of this country. So have you got a problem with him coming to Cambridge specifically? Yes. Absolutely. What's that problem? I hate him. <laughs> What's the problem I have? A little, not being funny, right? This is Cambridge. We protest against David Willits, Eric Pickles, uh, Marine Le Pen, Dominic Strauss Kahn. People should really start expecting protests when they invite extremely right wing figures to the city because this is not a friendly place for them. This is a, a friendly city, multicultural city, a left wing city, and the right just cannot rock up here and speak to some posh kids at university and think the city won't actually have something to say about it. Do we do have something to say about it? What we have to say is get lost. Do you think I'm posh? Where are you from? North London. <laughs> Did you go to private school? No. Then you're not posh. <laughs> Do you think you're being a little bit insensitive by comparing Nigel Farage to Hitler? No. Everybody likes to joke in England. In England. Um, I'm just... As, as, as an exaggeration, perhaps, but not that much. Obviously, he hasn't um, been responsible for a genocide, but I, I will not put that past him if he was to be elected. <laughs> if, you, if you go for a pint, if, if I set up a pint to have a pint with Nigel Farage, what would be the first thing you said to him? I, I think it's something really, really funny and cutting, something <laughs> scathing, you know, I'd write it down and commit it to memory and I'd just go in with that, leave with that. It'd be really funny. But like, right now you don't know what it is. <laughs> the protests here outside Corpus Christi have come to a deafening end after one hour and 20 people. It turns out that largely they're protesting against the fact that a right-wing politician has been invited to come to dinner in Cambridge.